ஹலோ வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் இந்த லாஸ்ட் டூ மந்த்ஸ் ஐ ஹேட் தி ப்ரிவிலேஜ் ஆஃப் விசிட்டிங் அண்ட் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் அண்ட் டாக்கிங் டு அபவுட் த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் இன்ஜினியரிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் the first question that i asked them was what made you join engineering some had an answer saying that they were always interested in engineering that means they had the attitude for that but some also said that they joined because it was their parents wish and not necessarily their own wish however having joined the course and i paid the fees and committed one's life for the next 4 years it is imperative it is a duty towards self as well as to the parents who are paying the heavy fees they put their best whether their original choice was engineering or not because having committed oneself they cannot waste their time in the four years and engineering is a good base good foundation for whatever needs to be done later on so it, my advice to them was now concentrate on the studies but there are many many things that one needs to do apart from just being good in academics few years back there are plenty of jobs in the it sector and i remember even uh, one person who joined uh, my company in 2001 as a software engineer having completed mtech in cryogenics which is in the field of uh, rocket engines because there were more jobs in it and less jobs in other fields but now this year it is going to be difficult for those who are passing out this year one of the it majors have already announced that uh, they're not going to get into any campus placement interviews this year because whomever they selected for the from the passing out batch of 2022 they need to be absorbed that means 2003 23 pass outs are going to miss out on the opportunity of at least one major company so the way we can ensure that our future is good is along with the engineering subjects also focus on various soft skills so that if the selection becomes very hard there are all qualified engineers but one with additional qualification of better soft skills better character building that person that student will be the one who will be selected and one cannot just depend upon the fact that companies will come for placement interviews they may have to they may have to also look for alternate methodologies of getting recognized by potential employers so one such field is linkedin also so first year engineering students themselves should get into linkedin start reading posts from the engineering field that they are interested there are many ceos there are many hr heads follow them comment on their post write your own post have a good uh, profile picture how to get the best out of linkedin i have made a separate video some time back and i myself got the benefit of that because based on that profile i started getting invites for speaking on online classes and also for offline classes so those of you are still not in linkedin please go through that video the description of that i have given it in the description go through the video and make a profile picture as recommended by that so that in the four years you are actually preparing the ground for someone to notice you and pick you for a role in their company the campus interview happens and comes nothing like it it is the best method of getting recruited in the top companies but somehow if the trend is going to be like what we see this year this year i see only one company saying that they are not going but maybe next year the same thing will continue with uh, financial uncertainty in the world 
with two wars going on and we don't know when it is going to stop and we just got out of covid there are uncertainties and you can't take the next four years for granted so please do all that is required to polish yourself in not only in the hard skills which any case colleges will teach you also the soft skills your communication your emotional intelligence your presentation skills and networking uh, possibilities of team working by joining a um, social service etc nss so all that will come into effect when you are looking for a job because everyone is a qualified engineer and the selection is to be less than what is available for recruitment you should be the one to stand up on top so nothing to worry those who do hard work will always succeed and it's four years is the right time for investing your time on that so i'll continue to give guidance on such things so please subscribe and watch my videos and more than watching follow whatever guidance i give one based on my own uh, successes my own failures and my own experiences which i have have from maybe 23 years and 12 years in it companies and last 13 years years in corporate training all the best things will be bright provided you take effort from your side